Spooky scary skeleton. Don't worry, it's me! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video inspired by the new Annabelle 3 movie. Annabelle Comes Home, also inspired by the Conjuring series that Annabelle is also featured in. In this new movie, it is like the Avengers for spirits and demons, and there is this new demon that's summoned that comes alive in this movie called The Fairy Man. If you don't know the history about The Fairy Man, well, he kind of looks like this. And The Fairy Man is a huge coin collector because when someone dies, people put coins on his or her eyes in hopes that The Fairy Man could come and take their souls in exchange for these coins. There are so many demons in the Annabelle series that I'm inspired by to do makeups of, so leave me comments down below if you want to see that. But until then, we are going to turn into the fairy man today. I was just going to do the coins on my face, but this is so much better because the fairy man has like a bark-like face, it looks like, but it's also skull-like with like the nose bone definitely shown. I am getting some glue stick with powder to delete my eyebrows because... Fairyman definitely does not have any eyebrows and I'm wearing my scream robe outfit thing because he's definitely robed. Doing more layers of powder and glue today. Wiping it off my face. Mm -hmm. More layers of brows. Why not? Because we really want them flattened down like they are burned off while he was going between heaven and the dark places. Picking up coins off people's eyes maybe. I, I don't know if that's part of the story of the fairy man, but I'm just making things up as I go. All right, to cover my eyebrows and the rest of my face, I'm using this green tone cream makeup, and I'm just gonna use the best tool in the business, which is my fingertip. Oh yes, we're getting that great mossy color green. Hear how dry my skin is? I forgot to prime it, but that's fine. I feel like an X-Files character. You guys probably don't know what X-Files is because I'm an old grandma, but it was one of my all-time favorite TV shows with David Duchovny. I feel like a mutant already. Gotta get in the nose. And later on, we are gonna hand paint silver coins on my eyes because I'm crazy. I thought that was a great idea. <laughs> Do I look like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street yet? Or just like a crazy person who took their California kale celery juice and rubbed it on their face. Alrighty then. I am going to take a mix of these, the flesh tone and a light brown to do the high points of the face of this creature, demon. Do the high point just to give more depth and dimension. So it's not all one color to make those cheekbones really stand out and the lips too. Then I'm gonna go in with black cream paint and start painting in that nose bone situation of the demon and all of the, like there's lines and crevices and cracks and all that good stuff. There's definitely a nose bone here, like a traditional skull nose area. And there's like lines and everything on his face. You can do this, then you can get a dry brush to really pack in some shadow marks. We want to make some sockets of the eyes and then inside here we'll do the silver of that coin. See, get that coin. You really want to feel where your eye socket bones are. As creepy as that sounds. So where you want to do these shadows. You can do texture by flipping your brush like this. Some texture along the face. It kind of looks like a green jack-o'-lantern a little bit mixed with a skull. As weird as that sounds, we need out of texture. We're already getting places. I think horror makeups are my favorite because you could do more, so much shadow and dimension. I was a traditional artist before I was a makeup artist, so you'd have more freedom, I feel like. Nothing has to be precise and pretty which is what like watercolor painting is about and I was really into watercolor painting. Trying to get all the details of shadows I can. These are really important, the little shadow dimension here. Probably going with some uh, alcohol paints too, just to give more layers later. Getting some translucent powder to really set all that because I don't want it to move when I layer on like alcohol paints and stuff like that. And when I layer on silver paint for the coins, 
going to get some matte black eyeshadow to pop that in, like especially on the nose to deepen things, to really make it dark and matte, and around the eyes as well. Really going to dust this in to my eye sockets to deepen them, and around the orbital bone of the face. This is just really going to make my cheeks look sunken in more, and so much better. Getting a push liner brush to really do some fine, harsh lines on the face, like cut marks is what he has. And in this orbital bone again, I really need more lines around this mouthpiece, mouth part, to make it look more wrinkly and like really sunken in. All right, next I'm gonna get some light cream again, and I'm gonna do the highlight marks on this piece, this face of the fairy man, especially around like the nose part. This kind of reminds me of that pumpkin scarecrow thing I did. All right, we're looking good. <laughs> now, I think we're good to set this with more powder. I know, a lot of powder. And we're going to do some alcohol paint and then start painting the coin eyes. So I'm just taking my Skin Illustrator black alcohol paint and really focusing on the darkest parts to deepen them because I feel like the alcohol paint with the eyeshadow and the cream makes it even darker, especially around this nose area. Make sure you don't get this in your eye. I'm just going around the orbital bone, the outer rim of that eye look to make my cheeks look more hollow especially on the corner, the outer part. Now for the extremely hard part. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Graftobian Silver Cosmetic Powder to do the eyes of the fairy man. It's just a little bit of magic with that powder. Then, this is super messy. That's why I keep it in its own containers, my powders. Then I'm just gonna get the Magic Set Mixing Liquid from Graftobian. Um, Mayron also carries this. All right, so I'm just putting the Magic Set liquid in there first, and then I pour it in here to really measure out what consistency I want for this powder liquid that turns to liquid. You can use a liner, whatever. Now here's the hard part, and it could be some for some people, but I'm just putting this on my lid to hopefully make out a coin shape. I need it bigger than that, girl. Don't get this in your eyes though, it'll burn, trust. If you wanna use like a shimmery eye topper like from Stila or Pixie, you could totally do that instead of doing this so that you won't risk getting liquids in your eye. With the matte black eyeshadow to do the details of the coin, you could honestly just leave it silver without the detail, but you know me, I like to really try try. Okay, I had my robe on backwards this whole video, so now I'm going to try to put the hood on to make it look extra spooky. Spooky, scary, scary teen. Send shivers down the spine. I'm sure my neighbors think I'm absolutely nuts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup of me turning into the fairy man inspired by the new Annabelle 3 movie coming out. I hope you guys are excited as I am to see the movie. Leave me a comment down below if I should do the other demons from the Annabelle series. There are so many. Subscribe for more videos like this. I also do beauty makeup, chit chat, get ready with me videos, and a lot of spooky stuff. I have a spooky, scary story series here on my YouTube channel that I post at least once a month. Stay tuned for that. The next Phantom Curiosities is what that series is called. It's going to be great and outstanding. Take off the screen. Oh, for today. Ugh. Wow. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. All the products I use in this video will of course, of course, of course, will be listed in the description of sub video. I hope you guys enjoy. I've been loving like mixing different colors of cream paints to get the exact color that I want and need. I love those Graftobium metallic powders. It's kind of hard to mix but once you get the hang of mixing those powders, they're super messy but um, worth it for the gold and silver in this case. I cannot wait to see Annabelle 3. I'm so excited to be filming more videos for you all. 
that are coming up ahead. I love the smell of these. These are the Clean AF Pro Probe AF. What? These are the Patchology Makeup Remover Wipes. I know that they have disposable makeup remover wipes that you can put liquid on. And I do have those and I do use them, but I also do lose them when in the wash because I wash them with my clothes and sheets. Mostly just sheets in hot, hot water. You think you lose socks a lot? Imagine losing those. They lose a lot of those in the wash. I kind of look like Beetlejuice with this green that's staining my skin. So I'm gonna go wash this off because it's kind of staining. And I'll see you guys. Ooh, don't get too scared. At night. Bye!